OVFM Radio. You're on board Rama Gospel Express. And in the symphony right now, we have two giants. Yes, we do. We're talking about none other than Minister Nate Thomas. Well, she doesn't want to be called minister, just a sister, you know, because of the way they're taught at their church. You know, she's on fire for the Lord, so she's out in the battlefield, too. So she's always, I'm going to call you a minister, uh, Pastor Michael Brown of True Vision Baptist Church. That's where they both of them are from, but they are on fire. I met them this past week, a week before last, at the Convalescent Center, and they were ministering. The Word of God did an awesome job. I am so glad to have both of you with me. I don't know who to start, where to start, but somebody start. Just give us what God has given to you. Well, let's start with uh, Sister Scott because she's been ministering uh, at the nursing homes for 20-plus years. So let's start with her. Good morning, listeners. Listeners, I am Sister Lucille Scott, Minister Lucille Scott. That sounds a little better. <laughs> From uh, True Vision Baptist Church, Reverend Brown's my pastor, and I've been ministering for approximately 20 years. And praise God, I enjoy every minute of it because it brings joy to my heart, not only to me, but I am helping others to look into the sight of God and what he's doing for them. And I'm just blessed to be here today to say that I love the Lord. I love my ministry. I go from nursing homes at on Rice Road, Normandy Terrace. I've been there about approximately 20 years. I also go into the homes. I also go into the hospitals. And I'm just grateful to speak to say that I'm here for the Lord and to spread the word because I think it's great to be in ministry. You know, oftentimes, you know, in the life, and you look so good. Thank you. I mean, your hair I'm looks good. Hey, man, I'm, just, I'm checking out that hair, dude. I mean, it looks good, you know, and you have such a pretty smile. But with all of that, it came through some trials and tribulations. Days haven't been good. No. But there were some days that you had to cry. Yes, I did. But yet, you know, and I know it's easy for us to say, well, God did it, but through it all, there's times that you felt like God wasn't there. Yes, yes. Can you just share with us a little bit how you were able to keep the faith and all? You know how I keep the faith and keep on keeping on is because I don't never get up. <laughs> I may fall or trip, but I get up mm -hmm. because I know that God is behind me. So I look to the hill where my help come from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your help come from the Lord. Yes. And long as you have to keep that faith, don't give up. Mm -hmm. Because if you give up, then you turn over to Satan. So I just keep on battling. Oh, I have tears, and I've cried, and I, I've had ups, and I've had downs. But, oh, I thank God that he brought me through. I learned to stand up. Even if I fall, I could, don't never think you're not going to fall, because you are. But, Mother, I, let, me, let me ask you, let me ask you, what about those days when folks said you wasn't going to make it, or you, you know, you're not going to mount up to be anything, or they didn't have any kind words to say? No, 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 but you know what I would keep saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, help me. I go to God. The first thoughts come into my mind, I That joy that just keeps bubbling. It is that joy, joy every time. Last night, and I, uh, in the middle of the night, I, uh, I start thinking to myself. I said, "Lord, is this really me that I'm going to be uh, broadcasting tomorrow? How good God is, so somebody can hear, reach out because I, we've never done this before." But I left on the night. Here I am, here telling everybody how good God is. Trust in him, lean on him, work for him. You know, without you, uh, you, you got to put what you got to put it forth. Mm -hmm. Because there are many people out there that really, truly need help. Yes, yes. They and, need it real bad. And encouragement. And encouragement. I uh, let me tell you a little story about a little a lady uh, one Christmas, uh, and she was there alone by herself, and she didn't have no family. And she says to me, I don't have no family nowhere. And I ministered to her, not knowing, you know, she didn't, you know what? She says, I'm so happy. You have.